Santa Claus. We got Jason. Oh, that was abrupt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a spectacular intermission here at CCW Clash 19 at the Exhibition Center. And we are resuming the action here. Our first contest is going to be Jason Boa, the choke artist. And you can hear the choke chants already started. Crowd getting fired back up, ready to get back into the action. Jason Boa coming in at six foot one, 220 pounds, master of the snake pit execution. Now, have you seen uh, these Jason Bogle matches over the last few months? Last few months, there's been a little bit of a shift uh, with this gentleman as he was in an extremely heated feud with Chris Charters, ending in a last man standing match. But we are being joined right now by <laughs> the man from Shreveport. So Jason Bowen, not looking too happy to see the big man, Bobby Boyette, but Jason is up to the task. I'm expecting a good, clean contest between these two as we got Bobby Boyette, the man from Shreveport, Louisiana, is coming in, and he's been an absolute fan favorite here ever since he debuted. Uh, he's got some great new gear right now that has come up as a point of contest uh, between Bobby Boyette and Jason Boa. Jason Boa saying, hey, I look like a wrestler. I'm an athlete, you're not. Bobby Boyette saying, I'm a shooter, I know how to wrestle, and I'm gonna show you that I do at Clash 19. So, there's a bit of comment about the gear. Previously, Bobby Boyette, he used to wear sneakers when he wrestled, but he went out and he earned those boots having matches and bumping up and down the roads. Jason Boa, well, Bobby Boyette thinks he looks like an action figure and that he, he's gonna show him that he moves and fights like one too. So, anyway. you. You get the idea. This is gonna be a amazing contest to watch because we have a definitive size advantage. Bobby Boyette coming in six foot, 365 pounds. One of the biggest men here in CCW. You got Jason Boa coming in at 220, but also maybe a 1% body fat. So you gotta wonder about what the actual difference in muscle mass is between these two. Jason Boa, amazing contest with Chris Charters over the last few months. They had a last man standing. I feel after watching Chris Charters wrestle earlier tonight that he was still feeling some of the damage from that match. And so Jason Boa would also be feeling some of the damage from that match. Some of the hardest hitting striking, but let's focus on the match at hand. We got a lock up here and these two are gonna go for a test of strength and I, either man could take this. You got that natural size and strength of Bobby Boyette, and then you can see the muscles on Jason Boa. Bobby Boyette's bringing, bringing those hands back up. He's twisting, he's twisting in a way Jason Boa doesn't seem to be able to answer, but he's using his head, he got the hands right on the head, and he's in his face. I think we're, this match is about to begin now that we got that out of the way. Bobby Boyette's gotta watch out for Jason Boa getting a hand on a body part. Maybe, if Bobby Boyette is right, then he thinks he can out-technique Jason Boa. That's what I heard. But if Jason Boa gets a, gets a good grip on him, he's going to be able to crack, snap, crackle, and pop whatever he does hold on to. Bobby Boyette, there it is. Good reversal going as advertised into the wrist lock. Both men are fighting. Neither man wants the other to get this hold, and so they just keep going right to the brink, and then there's a counter. We got a nice roll through right there, spin through. Hammerlock spins him around, chop to Bobby Boyette, but he is walking through it because the big man's got a lot of meat up there, and he grabs. He's getting a little angry now from that because they're having a perfectly good wrestling match, I think, is Bobby Boyette's opinion, and then it got ruined by that chop, but now we're back. Test of strength again. Bobby's going to outmaneuver, out technique. Jason Boa getting control of that arm. Jason, it looks like he might have been thinking about grabbing the hair. 
We got the menacing, the vicious Jason Boa taking on the imposing and dominant frame of Bobby Boyette. Jason Boa takes back control of that wrist lock. Bobby Boyette, he's figuring out his strategy. See, he's manipulating the elbow. He's trying to lift that pressure. There we go, swings around the back end. Right on the face. So it's Bobby Boyette this time is gonna take that nice amateur wrestling style match or that standing grappling that we had going on. And he's gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna throw you. Let's create some distance here and we'll do this again. We got a crowd here. I don't know, I don't think they know who to cheer for yet. They love Bobby Boyette. They gave him some cheers. Jason Boba, he's a long standing fan favorite here in front of the CCW crowd. There it is. The size advantage is Bobby Boyette. Jason's already back up on his feet. We know he can take some punishment. He was begging for the chops from Chris Charter because he wanted to show him that you can't hurt me. I'm invincible. And look at just the way the ropes move. When Bobby Boyette hits the rope, it's like watching a backyard trampoline vertically. There's so much spring on that. And then even he can have such a size advantage that he's moving half as fast as some of these other athletes. He's going to hit harder when that connection happens. He's got Jason Boa. He's starting to manhandle uh, Jason Boa, the choke artist around the ring. And I wonder if he's going to start firing back with that chop. Jason Boa, known for his powerful chops and just a just sort of a, a sadistic ruthlessness that Jason Boa has in the ring. And it has been nothing but nurtured by the hard way Chris Charters. Bobby Boyette sends him in. A lot of speed, a lot of power behind that. Jason Boa ricochets right back out, comes in for a sidewalk slam. No, backbreaker. Bobby Boyette, he's stretching him. He's stretching him out right there. I don't know. You got that much muscle. Usually there you sacrifice a little bit of flexibility to get that kind of that kind of definition and lifting power. That back has got to be killing Jason right now, but referee, uh, senior referee in May. Asking Jason Boa, and he does not give up. Uh, Bobby Boyette gonna no longer spend the energy. Not sure what Bobby's thinking, could be a big splash. You see a big man splash, no, swings around, gets a little bit of defense up, but he's gonna end up eating the turnbuckle. And a stiff elbow right to the chin. That beard not offering a lot of protection. Now, here comes Jason Boa, classic Boa, he's got the chops. <laughs> He's making Bobby Boyette mad though. Those are just, you gotta swing the whole arm there, brother. <laughs> we got the Taekwondo, we got the tornado kick, uh, shoving Bobby Boyette in the corner. So he he might have been just eating those chops to get in the head of Jason Boa. The Bobby Chats starting to mount here at CCW Clash 19. <clears throat> I'm not sure what Jason's gonna think about this. This is uncharted water for the hometown hero. The choke artist, Jason Boa, flies in, flying knees, right in the chest. Comes in, leg drop on the back of the head. Bobby Boyette, it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to get up on his feet. I believe the longer this goes, the longer the match is gonna favor Jason Boa. I know Bobby Boyette was talking about being a shooter, being a grappler. I don't think he's gonna outcondition Jason Boa, although he did get the technique advantage early on. Some hard knees in the back, Jason Boa. He just wants to keep that big man down, wants to keep him fighting for air, keep him extending energy where he can, but the crowd, they're rallying Bobby Boyette back up to his feet. It's like the louder they chant, the faster he's getting up. It's lifting this man. And he fires a couple of those big, beefy arms right into the ribs, and then we got that head butt. Uh, looks like it staggers uh, Bobby Boyette just a little bit, but he's going to be a lot faster to recoup. He was in control of that head butt. Oh, that could have been a chop, but we got a nice... Stiff elbow in the chest sets Jason or sets Bobby Boyette up for whatever he was thinking, but he's gonna end up in the sleeper. And this is this is the Jason Boa, the choke artist. Bobby Boyette's been in this position before. Every great wrestler has. He's gotta know find some counters. He's creating a bit of separation now using the elbow and the liver. See the big ham bone, soup bone hands getting ready to fly. Grabs Jason by the back of the head, and that's where you can really see the size advantage. You see that that big uh, baseball mitt over the dome of Jason Boa, and ugly, ugly throw. I don't know. 
what that's going to hurt the most. That had to hurt the knee of Jason Bow. I saw a very awkward looking landing angle. He might not, now he might not be able to get out of the way when the, the big man comes in for that splash or that back elbow, whatever he was thinking. Huge impact, just shaking the ring. See those ring posts getting knocked around. He's got full control over Jason Boa. Hits him with a nice lariat. Takedown rolls into the pin. That's a lot of weight. Jason Boa says it's not over yet. It's going to be a two. It's going to be a little tougher for Bobby to get up. He ate some very hard impacts right there. Jason Boa as well. Bobby Boyecki, the first man to make it back up onto his feet. Uh, Jason Boa, he's he's poised, but it's going to remain Bobby who's going to be in control, and the crowd is here for it right now. I think uh, you can't beat the charisma of the man from Shreveport, Louisiana. Jason Boa slips out the back, and he's locked that same choke in again. You can see the face of Bobby Boyer is turning red. Uh, Jason, he jumps to the back. He's fully committed to this chokehold right now, but Bobby's going to slam him. That's a lot of weight, but Jason's not letting go. Uh oh, uh, I thought he might have tapped right there. He was not tapping. He, uh, was using a chop to drive back down the knees of Jason Boa, but okay, Bobby Boyd, he finally gets a little bit of space. You can see him, he's, he's hunched over, he's gasping for air, a couple of quick breaths in there just to get his wind back in. Stiff forearm onto the chest of Jason Boa, just buying a little bit of time. Both these men, there's a lot of gas in this tank that's gotta be refilled every time. Oh, is he gonna go chop? I think Bobby's thinking of, of paying back these chops. It had treble, it had bass. This is a little different from being chopped by Chris Charters. Sends, oh, Jason Bowie's thinking reverse and he ripcords himself in for an elbow. So Jason Bowie still has some signs of life and he's removed uh, something, possibly an elbow pad in there. Utilizing these strikes. Strikes seem to be working against Bobby. You're not gonna do a whole lot of picking him up and slamming. Jason, he likes to set up for his submission holds with a lot of striking. Uh, Bobby Boyetz, he's had some good answers for it right here. Almost narrowly hits the referee. Uh, no harm, no foul, though. Uh, not going to be called. Incidental contact. Bobby Boyette closing the distance again. Both men staggered by just the, the force of these impacts. And we got a duck under. Jason Bowie, is he going to lift him? He gets him up on his shoulder. The 365-pound Bobby Boyette is higher than he has ever flown before. But And we got, he drops him in for a ripcord lariat. Doesn't get the takedown right there. Jason, his back from some of those slams has got to be on fire uh, right now. He almost gets the big man down. He's teetering. You can see that staggered stance on Bobby Boyette as he tries to maintain his feet, but he ducks under this time. So he was ready for it. And it's going to be a big back body drop, but Bobby Boyette is dead on his bicycle. He is not moving. Uh, the man from Shreveport, Louisiana, he is down right now. He's just starting to roll. Uh, Jason Boa, he's riding back and forth as uh, the boa constrictor in the jungle climbing a tree, but he's going to be the, it looks like he's going to be the first man back up to his feet. This Bobby, he needed that little extra recovery time. They're going to end up meeting. This is anybody's contest right now. I can hear a mix of chants. We have some Bobby Boyette chants. We have some choke chants. I can see the signs side by side in the audience right now. Uh, nobody knows what to call. We got a discus chop come from Jason Boa. Uh, Bobby Boyette responds with a more of a clubbing forearm strike. Both these men are wobbled hard. Amanda Poison cheering on. Her man, Jason Boa, in the ring right now. He gives a big bicycle kick. Bobby Boyette goes back to the headbutt. It worked before, and it looks like it worked again. Uh, but then he's he's back in the rope. He's not able to follow up. We got another discus elbow in the looks like the ear and the zygomatic arch area. And then he's back to the choke. And this choke, this choke, it narrowly it is. Bobby Boyette has barely been able to fight out of this thing multiple times already in this match. If Jason Bowe has got enough gas left in the tank, this, this could be it. There's no way that uh, Bobby Boyette is going to be able to fight him for a third, for a fourth, for a fifth time. And he's jumped back up. He's got the legs on. Uh, you got to feel for Bobby Boyette right now. He's going to slam in the corner. He's running him coast to coast. I hope someone checked the, the security features on our ring because I see a little bit of shifting going on. These are some heavy impacts, but he can't keep running. He's got no more air in there. There's, there's no more oxygen to that big, massive Bobby Boyette body. And he, he's reaching up. He's trying to think of a defense right now. You can see that shoot fight background. He, boom! Drops. He drops Jason Boa. Jason's down. He's broke the hold, but he needs to breathe. You can see he's signaling the eyes. Jason Boa 
lifts back up from the grave, just locks back on to Bobby Boyette. Oh, he's down, he's down on the ground. He can't run, but he's on top of him right now. The referee's trying to because his shoulders were down. And Bobby Boyette just upset Jason Boa. This is unbelievable. I can't believe <laughs> he's landed on top of him in the submission. Jason had him. He, he might have even been unconscious at that point. Jason might have, he's so, he's so sadistic. He wouldn't let go of the hold. He probably wasn't even listening to the count. He was just squeezing because he was probably feeling the life draining out of Bobby Boyette. And then what did he do? <laughs> he, he had him where he wanted him, but he just he couldn't get the big man off of him. And the shoulders were down. It's, it's one, two, three. What is going to happen now? between Bobby Boyette and Jason Boa. Is this a one-shot deal? Are we, gonna have a sh are we gonna have the code of honor here? Are we gonna have a show of respect uh, between these two? Uh, that has to hurt Jason Boa. Although he's he's had a successful couple of months with Chris Charters. Bobby Boyette, he's offering the hand. Jason, not gonna be. All right. All right, you know what, there it is. That was a good contest. You know, it is what it is, the referee called it. It was a fair, it was a clean win. Mistakes are made, but it looks like it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good day here at Clash 19 CCW. Bobby getting his first major big win here in CCW, upsetting one of our stalwart veteran talents in Jason Boa, man, he's been here from CCW just about as long as he's been around. Bobby Boyette coming away with the dub today. Finally, the fans get to enjoy it. It's been an evening so far full of amazing, amazing matches and amazing moments here at the Fredericton Exhibition Center. Good luck for you, Bill. Oh, I'm just saying. Sorry about that. That's all right. I don't care. Good job, Bobby. <laughs> The man from Shreveport, Louisiana, just a typhoon of excitement. Um, yeah, a night so far here at Clash 19 full of incredible moments and incredible matches. If you buy yourself a ticket and come out, I got some cleaning up to do. Ten Eaker with Bobby Boy at Oh My yeah. God. That was oh, nice to remember. That was oh. beautiful. Yeah. I wonder where the wrestling maneuver. Oh, God, that boa. He'll get on you. Ooh, yes. I give him a little credit. He might have done a move or two, but uh, being a tough guy and knowing your wrestling hole for him today, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. thank yeah. you. That's a ring of weirdness, eh? Yes. Oh, man. Uh, it was a beautiful sight to see, though. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I, from, a lot of agility. Yeah. Uh, he had a strong man. He has a good strategy to take away the air from the big man. Yeah, but, just like I mean, a snake. He's not the first to try that. He won't be the last. But uh, credit what credit's due. Uh, I figure I'll probably see him again at some point. He's a worthy opponent, but victory will do it. I'll reconsider my opinion, though. Know, just a little bit. Until next time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.